In 2015, a couple in San Jose, California were the victims of a home invasion. The intruders were never identified. The police recommended the two invest in some home security cameras to protect against future break-ins. And so the couple did. They set up a total of six different cameras around their house. Then, on May 8th of that same year, these cameras would capture a second break-in. Two men wearing black clothes climb a fence into the backyard, where they're shown finding an unlocked sliding glass door. They walk inside and immediately go into the kitchen. One of them is seen disconnecting a phone setting on the counter. They proceed to search the kitchen, opening different cabinets and drawers. From this they find kitchen knives, which they take with them to arm themselves. Caught on a different camera, they're next seen running upstairs, kitchen knives in hand. As they're searching the rooms upstairs, one of the men comes across a locked door. It was the door to the master bedroom. He puts his ear to the door and hears a baby crying. Inside the room was a family friend named Rosie and the two homeowners' child. Rosie was babysitting for them when the intruders entered the home. Hearing the crying, the man alerted his partner that people were inside. Instead of getting spooked and leaving, the men go up to the door and aggressively start kicking it. They hit it with such force that they managed to kick a hole in it. They then thrust knives through the hole. Rosie took the couple's child and retreated to the bathroom, locking that door as well. She screamed out that she called the police. This would work. The men finally started running away before they could fully break into the bedroom. Police reviewed all of the footage, but were never able to identify the men. Their true motives remain unknown. It's hard to believe they were only trying to rob the place, seeing that they disconnected the phones and felt the need to arm themselves with kitchen knives. They also didn't immediately leave upon finding people inside. Instead, they tried breaking down a door to get to them. This is the footage from a home security camera in Vacaville, California. It was April when this footage was taken, and during that time of year, it's common to see a lot of activity in the form of kids walking home from school each afternoon. On this day, at some point, a girl with a backpack on is shown walking into frame. She was walking home from school like everyone else. However, she had been being followed for several blocks by a man in a dark colored Pontiac. She noticed this, and so she used a large truck parked on the side of the road to hide. She abruptly stops walking while she's out of view of the Pontiac. The driver stops, expecting her to come back into view. When she doesn't, he stalls there for a while before slowly driving off. The girl is left standing there, unsure of what to do next. Eventually, she sees the car coming back and decides to stay put behind the truck. Pontiac drives by and then reverses to try and talk to the girl, but she continually repositions herself out of view. Finally, he drives off again and the girl makes a run for it. After receiving multiple tips about the driver and his car, the police started an investigation. A 24-year-old man was identified as the driver. He was interviewed, but not arrested. He technically hadn't committed any crime and therefore police couldn't really do anything. Whether or not the man was actually planning something that day is unknown. Ali Porath is a mother of two daughters, one 13 years old and one 3 years old. On the night of February 20th, 2022, the three of them went shopping together. Their home security camera would show them returning home. They're seen walking inside and closing the door behind them. Shortly after, a man walks into frame from around their parked truck. The very first thing he does is try to open the door. Who are you talking to? Why? 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 
After knocking a few times, the man walks away. However, they later found out through a neighbor's camera that for the next five minutes, he walks around the house on his phone. Ali further reviewed the videos and found that it appears the man had been following them in his car all the way from the store. A few seconds after they park in the driveway, his car drives a bit further and parks a few houses down. After a few more seconds, he gets out and starts walking towards them. Thankfully, they were able to get everything inside and the door locked before he got there. Ali ended by writing, I don't know what this man's intentions were, but I don't think it was to rob us. I do believe that this was random and that we are not specifically targeted, but that he saw an opportunity when he saw a woman and two girls go into a house alone. Police were alerted and they did search the area, but the man in the video was never found. In October of 2016, a family in Florida noticed multiple things missing from inside their home. The night before, everything was there, but when they woke up, stuff was missing. To figure out where it went, they reviewed their home security cameras. At 1.30 in the morning, this is what the cameras captured. A man walks around the house while three children are sleeping on couches only feet away from him. He walks around them looking for valuables and hands what he finds to another man standing just outside, this one armed. The family immediately called the police upon seeing the footage. Police opened an investigation, but never found the two men in the video. Police believe that had anyone in the house woken up during the break-in, they likely would have been shot. A woman in Hudson, Wisconsin opened her blinds one morning and noticed something in the snow outside her window. She went outside and realized she was looking at footprints. The prints walked right up to her bedroom window and then back the way they came. Worried someone deliberately looked inside her window, the woman set up a security camera outside pointed towards her window. A few nights later, the camera recorded the man who made the footprints coming back. is shown clearly peering in the window. Police were alerted and shown the video. After doing some digging, they were able to trace the vehicle leaving the scene to a man named Robert Cessna, a highly reputable executive for the company 3M. According to his LinkedIn profile, Robert Cessna is a global key account vice president at 3M, and he shows similarities to the man in the video. Robert was contacted by police, but denied it was him. Police then interviewed several neighborhood witnesses and along with other evidence were able to confirm that he was lying. He was the man in the video. Robert Cessna was ultimately charged with felony stalking and later fired from his executive position. Margaret Woodward was a 68 year old living in Long Eaton, a town in England. Throughout the year 2013, her home had been the target of multiple break-ins. A total of five had occurred, and so she finally took the advice of police and installed home security cameras. Caught on the cameras, a six break-in occurs around one in the morning. A man is seen silently walking around while Margaret is sleeping in her living room. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm to the nurse right now. Your father will wake up. 
up right away and spoil his game. Your shots? <sighs> well, we both know your father screwed up and he'll put you in a different part. Right, I'll make the request. I just need you to get him on the phone. He'll take your call. You guys have been friends since law school. As a friend, I would have to advise you. Yeah, he's already done 35 years. I'm not getting the same. The governor pardons law and action condition that he pleads guilty to the prison murder and gets sentenced to time served. The man is able to take multiple belongings, all while Margaret has no idea. She doesn't wake up until he sets off an alarm. She then gets out of her chair and chases him with a cane. Using the footage, police were finally able to identify the man. He was 51-year-old Patrick Reed and was responsible for all six break-ins. He stole a total of around $1,000 from Margaret. Patrick Reed was sentenced to four years and eight months in prison.